Hey, honey. What are you doing? You promised me you would look for a job this morning. Yeah, I did. I gave my resume to a few places from the paper today. Really? Then why are you still wearing your pajamas from this morning? And when was the last time you showered? Okay, Jesus, I didn't go out today, okay? I got busy. Busy with what? This? You're throwing your life away. <sighs> Applebee's doesn't pay me enough for the both of us, you know. Diane, you don't get it, okay? For the past few months, I haven't had anybody to talk to. And it's this thing that's been keeping me company. News, talk shows, movies. It's the only way I can find out what people are thinking out there. Okay? It, this TV is my window to the world. But it's not your life, okay? You can't just sit at home all day talking to your TV. You're gonna have to face reality sooner or later. Come on. About home dinner. Uh, can I watch in here? Actually, I want to catch the end of this interview. Oh, can you give me a fork too, please? A brand new television experience has come to your home. Enjoy the latest in news, entertainment, and agonizing commercial breaks on Channel 57. The attractive person's choice. Channel 57? Huh. You're watching Channel 57, the entertainment of tomorrow, at today's market value. What's up, jerks? You're watching Channel 57. I'm Track Package, television man. And before you ask, I know what you're thinking. I'm taken. And I'm out of your league. You guys like weather? Good. My right-hand man, Chet Yesman, is here to show it to you. Chet? Thanks, Chet. Watch this next show. I'm going to go count my money. This shit is weird. I don't know. I kind of like it. All right. Well, don't let it distract you too much. You still have to get a job. Channel 57. Number one with billionaires. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. Good, good, good. good afternoon, dirtheads. We have to do those emergency tests or else the government gets on our asses. The time is 1 p.m. I was at the doctor the other day getting a routine body hair replacement procedure when... <laughs> <laughs> Mike? Is that you? It's one in the afternoon. You promised Diane you'd go out to look for a job. You can't disappoint her. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your woman proud. I'm waiting. Atta boy. I'll wait here until you get back. Hello. How are you? Thank you for meeting with me. You don't appear to have a law degree. What experience do you believe you can bring to this firm? Well, um, I may not have a law degree, but I do have a lot of um, uh, firm experience, if, if you know what I mean. You have quite an impressive resume, Michael. You spent 10 years at the IRS, managed a hedge fund, VP'd at a private investment firm. What makes you want to work at a skydiving school? Oh, I'm sorry, that's... Uh... Wrong resume, hang on. Here we go. Sorry about that. Tell me, Michael, where did you study speech pathology? Oh, uh, well, I, um, I, I actually, um... <laughs> what kinds of things do you do when you're not at work? Oh, I, I love to do all kinds of things, you know, um, I hike, I golf, I love swimming. So you're not the sedentary type? <sighs> Absolutely not. Um, you know, in fact, I, I, I despise sitting down. So you don't watch much TV then? Hmm. We're kind of looking for somebody who's pop culture savvy. Me? TV? Johnny Carson, who's that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I don't... I don't... I don't feel you're going to be a good fit. 
Hey, Mike, how did the job hunt go? How many offers did you get? When's your first day? Well, I didn't exactly land a job today. Oh, you got so many good offers, you're having trouble choosing? No, I mean, I didn't get any offers. I really blew it, actually. You blew it? Why? I thought you wanted a job. I do! But for some reason, I kept fucking up my interviews. I let the pressure get to my head. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're living off a waitress's income. Listen, Mike, I understand the situation you're in. I want to help you. But, track. Please, call me Package. Package? Thank you. Package, how the hell are you going to help me? You know my buddy Chet, Chet Yesman? He was like you once, a low-life loser whose wife was cheating on him. Now he's coming out with his own primetime TV pilot this fall. Yes, man, just got picked up for seven more seasons, all because I took him under my wing. And I can do that for you too, Mike, but you need to want it. I want it, Package. You want the Package Package? God, yes. Okay, Mike, here's your first lesson. How to make your wife love you again. This woman-winning social formula was first written for the 1973 sitcom The Davises and has since proven to be a stupendous mold for television conflict resolution. Anyway, step one. Every conflict can be resolved in as few as 22 minutes, 30 with commercial breaks. Your wife is your audience, and you don't want to bore your audience. Step two. While you talk to your wife about your failure as a husband, make sure to sprinkle in some quips. Step three. Make sure to reconcile your disagreements with your wife without promising to change or develop as a person in any meaningful way. Audiences like characters who stay pretty much the same. And step four. When you feel you've gotten through to her, really reached the core of the problem and figured out a solution, give her a hug and tell her you're proud of her. That's how you know it's all okay. All right, sport, that's all you need to know. You're welcome. Let me know how it goes. I'm going to go harass some interns. Hey, what's this? Did you make this? Of course. You've been working so hard to support the both of us that I figured you could use a good home-cooked meal. That's so thoughtful of you. So, I know your job hunt didn't exactly go that well today. Yeah, um, I'm not that worried about it though. What do you mean? I mean, I can find a job, okay? Like, I, I have skills, I just... It's not that it's hard, I just need a confidence boost, that's it. The only skill that you have is sitting in front of that TV and pretending that it's good for you. You need to grow up, Mike. Listen, I'm trying, okay, but... You know I gotta keep up with my soaps, right? Mike, is this pasta from the Italian place on the street? Yes. Jesus Christ. Diane, wait. I'm sorry. I love you. You know, I, I think that's the problem. I guess I just love you so much that I'm afraid to disappoint you. And, and that's why I'm having so much trouble. Maybe you're better off without me then. What? Whatever. This is whatever you're turning into. It's not the man that I married. Didn't you just hear me say I love you? Love isn't enough, Mike. We're not like one of your TV shows. We can't just make up and be like we were before. I just know that I need to do what's best for myself right now. And right now that means that we just can't be together. Jesus, Mike, when I said win her back, I meant win her back. I was following your formula, the one you said you would test on countless TV shows. Mike, I'm going to my parents' house for a couple days to, um, sort some things out, but... Mike?
Jesus, Mike, are you even listening to me? Hello? been foreclosed and the president will be making a full recovery. In other news, our good friend and trusty weatherman Chet Yesman has a new show starting, so we had to say goodbye to him. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to my new sidekick and your new weatherman, Mr. Mike Bailey.